home to the first Super Nintendo World and the last surviving Jaws attraction, this is Universal Studios Japan. Let's check out their best rides. Opened more than two decades ago way back in 2001, it is one of six Universal Studios theme parks worldwide and was the second to open outside the US. There are several unique sets you can find and here are some attractions that we think is worth the ride. Let's start things off with the 4D animation theatre depicting the anime series Jujutsu Kaisen. Although it is in Japanese, the action scenes, seat vibrations and water splash effects makes it a fun watch for all ages. When we visited, this show was still on but do note that they do change the shows from time to time. This Hollywood dream ride is quite popular at USJ and there are two different versions. The blue one which moves forward and the red one called Backdrop that moves backward. This is the fun one because you'll plunge headlong from a 43 meter drop without being able to see what's coming next. I love it because it has One Direction song as the soundtrack. Now let's head to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The attention to detail that this park have is just amazing. Even Moaning Myrtle haunts the toilet. In the Harry Potter series, a hippogriff is a creature with the head of a giant eagle and the body of a horse. This ride takes you off on a coaster that spirals and dives around the pumpkin patch and swoops past Hagrid's hut. For lunch, we headed to the Three Broomsticks where they serve fish and chips. So we're gonna take a short break here at this tavern in Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Here they serve vegetarian food as well as fish and chips. So we opt for fish and chips with some butter beer, which is non-alcoholic. We're gonna refuel before we go for other rides. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey received the honor of the world's number one ride for five consecutive years. That speaks volumes. Here, you'll experience the reality and thrill of a new dimension in the wizarding world that unfolds 360 degrees around you. Seriously, this ride is extremely amazing. Moving on to the Jaws attraction, which is apparently now the only one available in the world. For this ride, you will go on a boat tour where you would be viewing the historic areas where the shark attacks happened. Brace yourself, as you would also be face to face with the Jaws itself. Another popular ride here is the Jurassic Park The Ride. You would definitely get wet riding this, so do prepare a poncho in advance. The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man ride is similar to the Transformers in USS. You would be posing as a reporter wanting new scoops. To get that, you would be boarding a cart and brought on a whirling Spider-Man chase throughout the city of New York. And finally, the attraction which people look forward to when visiting USJ, the Super Nintendo World. To enter this area, you would need to book your slot early in advance. Once you have entered, you can opt to buy the power-up bands to get the full Mario experience. The entirety of this area will make you feel as if you were sucked into the cartoon world because the sets were exact duplicates of the cartoon. You'll be able to enter Bowser's Castle and go on the Koopa Challenge ride. On this ride, you will be given an AR visor to experience riding alongside the Mario characters. You would need to hit Tim Bowser to collect points and win! So now we are at Mario's Cafe in the Mario world. So we are going to try their signature dessert which is the tiramisu cake and the mushroom soup. So it's in this mushroom shaped cup. There are two crackers in it and mushroom soup. It smells delicious guys, I'm telling you. I can't wait to try this. This one, the outsides are the cookies and the inside is the tiramisu cake. So we would have to eat it layer by layer to try. So yeah, we're gonna try it after this. Sure it's gonna be nice. If you're in Tokyo, then you must head over to Tokyo Disneyland. Watch this next video for a quick guide.